Did you know that the German Luftwaffe had, during the Second World War, hundreds of airstrips all over Europe? And there was a lot of action taking place on these airstrips. This is one of such locations. Join us today and let's go out and find the path together right now. At this former German Luftwaffe location. This is, it doesn't look like much, but you have to imagine this image here. Yes, you can see the aircraft standing there on the runway, ready to take off and go and bomb the English. This is a place where, as rumor says, even Rommel visited this place. And uh, we're looking forward to share whatever is here. It's thanks to your kind support that we can do these road trips, go back in time and find World War II history and share it with you. And this is no exception, so we thank you for that. Thank you for being here and thank you for helping us out to find these wonderful locations. All of these airfields, they had a purpose, but they also had their own infrastructure. By that, I mean they had crew quarters, hangar areas, repair facilities, munition storages, defensive measures. All of that is actually here. But if you see here, it's not much you can see. But all I can tell you is for sure, the German aircraft, they came in here, they took off and they went out on sorties and they also supplied the supply chain all over Europe with all the things that the aircraft could carry. So the first little clue of what is here is actually just right there. And uh, I'll take you over there and uh, see if you can guess what it was. So why is there concrete here? Well, to understand that, I have to show you another image, this one. That's correct. This is the main repair facility hangar. And this is the exact spot where the German crew members took care of the aircrafts, maintained them, repaired them, just supplied them with whatever each and every aircraft needed. And all you can see here today is this concrete element here. So every time the aircrafts came in for maintenance, they came into this area, into this structure, this huge hangar that was here, and all the crews would work frantically to create or make this aircraft ready for the next sortie. We just realized that there is actually one of the original barracks still standing here in almost like the condition it used to be. And it's in the forest here. And Eagle Eyes just reminded me and uh, we just wanted you to see that. So this red building here is almost just the same as it was during the years when it was uh, built. And I do think, is that the shelter, Eagle Eyes? That's the shelter on the side, can you see it? So we were thinking that we could see, if we can spot that shelter, which is next to this structure here. Yeah, this is a shelter. See that? And uh, this shelter here had one purpose, and that was to protect the crews, the Luftwaffe crews. And the crews, they stayed right there. So to protect the crews, you needed to have something to run into. As since there are no basement in these shelters or barracks, they created this. And this is something you can ride, uh, run quickly into, and you'll be rather okay protected uh, towards, uh, you know, splinters and things coming in. And I do think they had gravel on top and actually had more on top than you see here. So now we are on the other side of the airfield area. So the landing strip was over there, but there also used to be a defilation and landing strip area right here. Will you see that? But around here is where the first uh, protective measure starts. And in the field here, there's a hidden VF-58C. That little tiny hill. All right, we're going to see uh, if that is correct. And we're going to go there. And then we're going to check out a little bunker, which is behind us. 
So why is there a machine gun tobruk right here? Well, you can't see it, but I can promise you it is right there. That's because this area was very important to protect, as I said, and this machine gun tobruk, which is down here, you can't see it. <laughs> That's too bad. We were hoping that we can see at least some. Yeah, you can see some of the concrete here. There it is. There it is. You see that? That is the actual lid of the circle that was here. So if you imagine this scene here. It's easier for you to actually comprehend what's going on here. And um, a guy here with the MG3442, it can take out anything that comes up this hillside because this is the outer perimeter of this side of the airstrip and it's a very very efficient way to take out a lot of people or soldiers coming in here so this is sadly we can't see it this is the first one and there are how many are there here 12? Uh, 12 there's a ton of them many. there's a ton of them we are trying to see if we can find most of them but i think it'll be very hard if they have uh, kind of buried them like that and uh, if that's the only thing we can see well it's not that promising but we can go up to a bunker which is just behind us so we'll take you over there and we'll check that out so this feature here which is still standing is this feature that you can see here on the image and it's here that is really really nice and i do believe it could have been a fully buried shelter of some sort you can see that did they have something on top here i'm not sure can i borrow your flashlight eagle eyes so it's definitely a structure that the german luftwaffe here took advantage of and utilized for maybe uh, crew members but let's go down and check it out sorry you, you fix it for me so it works you guys just have to fix the flashlight ready for me. So let's check it out. See what's here. It's a pretty crude structure. With it's it made completely of brick. There was a dividing wall here once, maybe a little room. And uh, let me see. Yeah, it's all bricks. Uh, was that ever a little window? I doubt it. Something was attached in the roof there. And there's the second room. And this is much bigger. Someone burned something there. And there's a beam. That's the other entrance area. Totally smashed in. And nature does claim back for sure. But it's a very thin roofed structure, so I'm not 100% sure whether this is a shelter or if it is something that they utilized to, um, to service or had something to do with the aircraft because the aircraft taxiway is just around here. Eli is his boss. He's got the LIDAR maps and all of that. He says there's a munition storage, rather big one further up here. So we're gonna see if we can find that. And if you pay notice to what we're walking on here, it's concrete. Why is it concrete? That's because the German created that. And suddenly, surprise, Eagle Eye said, railroad track. So now you can get to understand a little bit more why are there a beton or concrete road up here in the forest? Well, I think, why isn't it, why isn't it up there? But I think we're gonna find the answer a little bit further up here. You can see this is where the railroad track came in. Yeah. Then you come to this position here and suddenly it's like, huh? What's going on? Let me show you. Right here where I'm standing, see that? Concrete. And then check out here. More bricks and if you check out here, where they tossed on a ton of stuff, see that? More bricks. 
So something happened right here. And I know exactly what it is because the Germans stored their bombs here. The trench system was established by the Germans for the Germans for this and they needed that to be able to protect the area from strikes, from invasion and right there you can actually see one of the trench systems. This thing here is not your regular Riegelbau, a very heavy duty constructed uh, bunker that the organization thought had the standardized type of build material and procedures to build it. It's more like something uh, made to suit this location, this area. So it will definitely not be the same with the very heavy duty rounded roof and all of that. It's more like a square thing. And uh, you can see there is kind of like a layer of roof here. This is a very special little feature actually. And it's way bigger than I thought it would be. And it actually has two entrances. What the heck? This is way bigger than I thought. Oh my goodness. It is completely flooded, Eagle Eyes. That is flooded. Maybe this could be just a little hell hole. Oh my goodness. Can I borrow your flashlight please? I don't have one with me. Why? Because I didn't expect this dinosaur to be here, to be honest. I thought it was a tiny little thing. You! And that is for sure. Flooded. That is for sure flooded down there. But boy, oh boy, what a surprise. This thing is rather big. Wow. Look at that. I can hear the echo, so. It's most definitely not your regular Regelbau bunker. It's kind of just made with what they had. And that is surprising. I see water. Yeah, I do see water. But can we have a glimpse inside? That would be cool. This doesn't look too bad. Yeah, let's see. Oh, can I actually go here, Eagle Come on. Yoo. This is a very strange little place. Can we actually walk here? If you go to the right hand side here, Eagle Eyes, step on the right hand side as much as you can. Wow. It is the underground here. How cool. Let me crank that up to the full maximum. Oh, wow. Holy Madonna. This is huge. And there are some rocks here that we can stand on. Wow, L listen to the echo. Oh my god. All right, we've got some rocks we can stand on. And this is the other entrance exit. It's painted blue. Yeah, but you can... Oh my goodness. Getting wet, getting wet. Wow, this is a massive place in the middle of the forest where once the Luftwaffe reigned and did their stuff. Don't step too deep into the water, Eagle Eyes, because your shoes will leak for sure. Not mine, because they're a bit different. There's so much sound waves down here. Just wanted to see if there's another exit here that we can exit from. It is. You can go out here. There. Okay, I'll, I'll just... Okay. I'll just take a minute. I've never been to a place that has got so much echo. Listen to this. That is crazy. Nevertheless, Gefechtan means a little special place here where the soldiers could be safe from bomb raids. But how the heck could they do something in here with all that echo? 
Just imagine a gun or something firing around here. This is absolutely ridiculous. You! <laughs> I'm gonna take a couple of photos. That is a classical VF 58C machine gun top box somewhere around here. And again, it's hide and seek. Oh, finally. Of course, <laughs> someone slabbed a massive concrete thing on top. That looks very fresh if you ask me. That doesn't look like it's been there for a very long time. Under here, that's the circle. Don't know why they bother doing that. This is the entrance and uh, it's way down there. You can't get in. So this is the bunker that actually um, uh, took care of the near defense of the Gefechtan or the one that we saw, the large one. So down here, you will see this image here. Yep, the machine gunner and one guy supplying munition. And the airfield is still down there. So it was a very important position because they needed to be the last resort before anyone can get into that Gefechtan or the, the bunker there. And you can see it's very flat here. So it's level with the fields, almost like a half a meter, meter further up than the fields here. So that would be very difficult for the Allies to take out if they tried to get in here. So maybe they were anticipating. This is maybe a setup that I've been thinking about. Maybe the Germans thought that the Allies would come in with a parachute drop, with commandos. Or maybe even first attack the airfield, then land with aircrafts, and then boldly try and take this place. Huh? Could have been. I don't know. All right, we're gonna see there are some other structures. So we're gonna go through the forest to the other side of the forest and we're hopefully gonna be able to show you something there. Oh yes, this place is getting more and more interesting. If you wanna help us to reach more locations like this, we have this little fantastic super thanks feature here. That is your opportunity to help us out to get some gasoline into the fuel tank and go out and find more. Part two will be put here where it says more, you'll find a link in the, in the video description for that when it comes up. But I can promise you, uh, so far we just touched the surface here and uh, there are some pretty spectacular features out there, especially in the forest. It's the tiny little fighting machine, but it is so interesting to see. And if you thought, if the Germans were here, well, look what we found. And we also find something out here that we never even knew was there. And that is gonna be exciting to share with you. What you see here on the table here are some of the artifacts that we found at earlier Luftwaffe locations. This is like a uh, bottle uh, gauge, uh, a meter uh, from where the, this is sour stuff or uh, air bottle that the pilots had the, in the aircrafts. Uh, this is like a buckle for a belt, a pilot's belt, a seat belt for the pilots. Actually has the FL number, so we know for sure that that came from a German Luftwaffe aircraft. And once upon a time, a German pilot had that on him. A uh, little Luftwaffe tinny, and who can forget this beautiful thing here? Eagle Eyes, my son, he just found that at a fantastic other uh, Luftwaffe position. And that's a very early kind of Luftwaffe belt buckle, absolutely beautiful. So you can see history is actually out there and we want to share as much as we can with you. And if you help us out to watch the video in full or watch more of our videos, put on 10 in your lunch break, that's definitely going to help us out for sure. And the algorithm of the YouTube count seconds and minutes and if you watch more of our things seconds and minutes well guess what you're going to help us out tremendously but as i said it's going to be very exciting to show you the continuation of this also thank you for being here for watching subscribing commenting thank you each and every one of you who help us out with some paypal donations or becoming a patron team member as you saw it's so greatly appreciated but for now i think this is enough we'll meet you out there in part two and uh, we'll dig a little bit more into the German Luftwaffe airfield area mystery.